Hello, what is up y'all? Trent Gaming here. I've been gone for a few months. As you can tell, this is not the setup I had last time. I moved. I've also was really busy with work, so I had to, t had to step away from the channel for a little bit. And I'm back now, um, which is awesome. So I don't have everything moved in yet. I um, have some chairs I bought. So these chairs are temporaries. I'm going to have, you know, well... We're just gonna get, we're gonna do an hour overview because it looks cool and then I'm gonna get into the stuff. I'm gonna go from here over to there to the fun stuff. So right here is my um, table. So I can use this to play tabletop games. It's a little, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but it is a tad dirty right now. I just had breakfast. Um, it's a leaf top, so I could directly put these down, but anyway, I can play magic on this table. I could do tabletop Dungeons and Dragons if I want. I can also use it while playing video games over here to pull. So if we're doing four player in a month, I'll have the chairs. So and then over here, I got my coaster. It's a laminate wood, but I still throw a coaster on. And then I got my water. And then because again, what color is my handheld I am playing this week? I just have it right here, ready to go on the table at all times. You'll see where it goes when it is not the handheld of the week. I will show you. I'll actually take it with over there so you guys can see it because i actually do switch out my handhelds on fridays i don't know what i'll pick yet but anyway um then the art chair i have my coat right here um and then that extension cord goes to there which enables my internet which i'm not going to show you that area because it's kind of messy but school bag trash my new chair it's a little a little bit nicer than before um and then my desk. This is a lot smaller than my other desk. My, my other desk was really falling apart, so I didn't really have much of a choice. I had to kind of replace it, and this was a good option. It had, I really needed those drawers for work. So, yeah, but here's my desk. Um, I got a G4 E3 or something, E8 or something with the keyboard. G-Series mouse, mouse pad. I have speakers. And then this is a, it's here 27 or 32 inch Sony or Samsung screen. It's a pretty good screen. Um, still rocking the Pavilion gaming desktop or laptop. And then right here is my headset, Turtle Beach, or no, Steel Series. I used to have Turtle Beach. Um, my Steel Series controller for first person shooters on my PC because I no longer own an, or I never owned an Xbox, but I don't own a PlayStation 4 either. So. That ended up being able, and then here's my hub. A little bit messy, but I need I need all these connectors, so I just have a hub right here. I got my webcam, my capture card, and everything I need connected. And then from there, we have the couch. Maybe wondering why it's kind of just chilling over here. That's because normally people don't want to sit on my couch and play video games. Normally they're like, normally I want to sit on my chairs. So. I have the couch over here if we need it it's there otherwise you know i use it every day so it works and then getting over here we have the gaming setup so right now i have this out this is kind of the batch of switch games i've been playing i got xenoblade in there and a couple others um sound bar which i'm still working on fixing Remotes, Switch controller, Xbox 360 controller, OnStar 50-inch 4K TV. Um, there's my Switch with the Zelda Joy-Cons. I will probably keep those Joy-Cons on for the rest of my life. I might switch them out once in a while to charge the, to charge the gray ones, but those are my primary Joy-Cons. I don't use them a whole lot because I don't always use the Pro Controller. And then I got my Wii U on the other side looking brave. Wii U Wednesday still a thing even though I've been busy. Then getting down here, we have my PS3, my Super Nintendo, my Wii U, PS3 controller, and Xbox 360. You may be wondering why these four are on the top. One, because they fit like that, and two, these are the four more, this and these and the Switch are my most used consoles. Like, I use this for my Blu-rays. This is my Blu-ray player. Like, I, I game on it, but it's, all, it's mainly my Blu-ray player. Um, that I use at least once a week. Wii U Wednesday, and then that thing's just awesome. Um, getting down here, 
We have a controller hub. This is where I keep a lot of controllers. Um, we got Sega Genesis, Switch, Xbox, SNES, PS2, Switch again. Um, then down here we have my Sega Genesis and then my Switch bag. Uh, so I think I'm gonna switch the Switch bag to over here. I, it looked kind of cool with the, having this and the DS bag together, but now I'm looking at it, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I, I might switch that. That's that's something I'll do later, but then I have my PS2 and I have my VHS player, which is pretty cool in my opinion. And then up here, this is handheld heaven. So this is all the handhelds I own. I got the original Game Boy in that box back there. Game Boy Pocket, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Advance SP, DS Lite, and 3DS. So and I keep all my handheld games there. It's a little bit messy. I'm still trying to figure out how exactly I want to do this. I have rechargeable batteries for them too. And then I'll probably be increasing the handheld collection a little bit because I have been really feeling it. So now we'll awkward transition. We got my shelf, which I probably need a second one. <laughs> so we got what's left of my PlayStation 1 collection. Essentially just the games I didn't want to part with or were not worth a lot. My PS2 collection, my PS3 collection, which is a lot of sports games. I also have the Amazing Spider-Man movies. I got those for five bucks a piece at Walmart. I didn't think, I never saw them for like years, and then I saw them there one day. I saw this one la one week, and then I saw that one the next week. I'm like, I'm buying both just because I never see them there, and I'll probably end up watching them at some point. I have already watched this one. I haven't watched Amazing Spider-Man 2 in a while. I know it's a bad movie, but at the same time, I want to give it another chance. I'll probably watch it in my lead-up to Spider-Man No Way Home. This shelf we have, I have 007, The World's Not Enough, uh, Last Starfighter, Rocky, all the Elder Scrolls games, Halo 2, Doom, I, you got, I mean, I got some bangers here, Soul Calibur, Freedom Fighters are really good, um, Kotar, Kotar 2, I don't know why those are separate, um, still organizing, that is underrated, the Midco Arcade, that has like, I think it has my, I think Mortal Kombat 2 on it, that's pretty fun, anyway, um, then we get to 360, Halo 4, um, Destiny, Dragon Ball Z, Forza, Grand Theft Auto 5, you know, all the good stuff, and Ultimate Tenkaichi, which I can never call good. Um, getting to this shelf, we got some Super Nintendo, Fatal Fury, Mario, Zelda, or I don't have my Zelda cart. I'll look into that later. It might be in a box somewhere. And then over here, we got the Wii U collection. Um... Found a few local games to add onto it, nothing new there. And then my Switch collection. I finally got Super Mario Odyssey. Um, there's a little patch there stopping me from putting that all the way down, so it's just chilling up there right now. Um, and then this shelf has my DS and then my entire 3DS collection, um, which I got a lot of these on sale. Um, I still have yet to actually play through Pokemon Y or Ultra Moon. Even though I've, I've, I got that at a pawn shop and it had a rare Pokemon, so I really don't want to play through it because I will lose the rare Pokemon that I like. Like, like it's an event Pokemon I don't think I could get again, so we, we don't play that, but we love that. That, I just have a hard time get, getting started because it's, it's not the best. Um, what's this? Okay. I just found a receipt, no big deal. Um, then we got my one box Super Nintendo game, SimCity. And then over here we got Sonic 2. These are all, all my um, Sega Genesis games. I pride myself on doing them complete in box, so I will probably keep up with that. So Sonic 2, Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, X-Men, Dr. Robotnik. And then we got my movies. Um, nothing too crazy. I just got Batman Begins, um, all the original Star Trek movies and Next Gen movies, Batman, Mummy, Star Wars, Terminator 2. I don't have... I need to probably upgrade the Star Wars collections because I'm not doing the streaming stuff a whole lot anymore. I just, you know, I'm like, I don't, you know, I just don't deal with it anymore. It's just kind of bleh. And then we got a few more movies and some books. And then I got this um, card. It's a Snorlax card. I got that one. I got um, Pokemon Shining Pearl, I believe. I still gotta get Brilliant Diamond, but that's not here nor there, but yeah. So I'll be back. I'm going to have a schedule put up probably in the next couple days, but I just wanted to show you guys and explain, hey, I've been busy. I haven't abandoned you guys. I'm back. Um, have a great day. 
Like, comment, subscribe, hit the Instagram in the description below. Have a great day and goodbye.